Okay, whether you're a kid or a grown-up, making new friends isn't always easy, but there's a new book that's hoping to change that. It is called Buddy's New <laughs> Buddy, and it was written by best-selling author, entrepreneur, founder of Boombox, oh, yes, our baby. good friend, <laughs> Christina Geist. Hi, Hi girl. Christina. Hey, buddy. Hi, my buddy. Christina, one of the reasons why I loved this book is that I feel like you're kind of a new friend that I got to meet later in life, and I feel like all of us yes. are looking for that connection, particularly right now after coming yeah. out of a, a pandemic. I yeah. know. We kind of all need it, right? Yeah. Buddy's a little guy, yeah. but I feel like we all need this message. Jenna and I first became buddies because we have something in common. We're usually the last to leave a party. <laughs> now, look, I just want, Christine, I just want you to know something, what Jenna says when you're not here. She says that you are the influence that causes her to oh, stay at the party. She said, she? I was ready to go. Oh, and Christina's like, just come here. One okay, more, one agree more. to disagree. <laughs> but I will say that we have that in common. We're a lot of fun, right? You, you like to be there till the end, right? We, we do. Way. We can't help it. Okay. In this story, our yeah. little buddy, yeah. his best buddy's moved all the way across town, oh. and he's sad, and his routines are disrupted, and he doesn't know who he's going to do all this awesome stuff with at school anymore. And his older sister, who's really helpful, she's very lovely, oh. and she's helpful. Her name is Lady. Okay. She suggests that he make a new friend by finding something he has in common. Yes. With someone else. And they find, like you guys, you guys, the late birds, you're there at we, the end. We have, <laughs> I, no, I, I told, so was this based on, you have two beautiful kids, is this based on your own kids or other children who you met? It's based on every child I've ever known, yeah. right? So my kids now are 15 and 13, if you can believe that. It's hard for me to even imagine. But across Willie's family and mine, we have 12 grandkids. And wow. they're ages 20 to 2. Oh, my gosh. And so this book is dedicated to all my nieces and nephews. And we've watched them grow up. And yes. there they are. Yeah. Look at that brood. So oh that's my, my sharky gosh. side of the family there. Okay. There are 10 grandkids. The 11th is on the way. And then two more boys, Russ and Billy, on Willie's side of the family. So they're inspiring all of my work and all of my stories. And the character of Sonny, who is mm -hmm. Buddy's new buddy in this mm -hmm. story, yes. is inspired by... One of our real life friends. I love this. Darby yes. Lamb, her mom. Dr. Angela, Angela Lamb. Lamb's daughter. This we is her love daughter, yes. Darby. Oh, she is. They are dear friends of ours. We were neighbors in New York City. That's what we had in common. That's okay. how our friendship was formed. Yeah. And when I was coming up with the concept for Sunny for this character, yeah. I immediately thought of Darby. Oh. And Tim Bowers took one picture of her and brought her to life in this beautiful way in the story. You know what? This so book is coming out to me at the perfect time. Yeah. Because kids are getting ready to go back to school. Mm -hmm. I went to a lot of different schools, and I remember being that kid walking in, feeling like I didn't know anybody, mm -hmm. feeling different. Like, this is the time, and my kids are going to go to a new school this year, and I was like, you know who's going to need this book? Your kids. Poppy Hager. And you, And too. me. All of us. And me. Yeah. We're new, it. too. Willie yeah. and I, our kids started a new school in ninth and sixth grade last year, and we felt new. Yeah. How did they adjust? How did your kids adjust to the new school? They did great. They did. Because they look for one thing they have in common all you need is one. with one person one day at a time. And look, it's not all perfect. Every day isn't sure, great. Yeah. Sure. But if you can just kind of break it down into smaller pieces and find one spark with one person I love that. and go from there. Did you run this? Did you read this to your kids? Did you say, am I missing something? Does this have all the things we need? Yeah. I always yep. test drive the story okay. with as many little little ears as I can yeah. find. And I do a lot of author visits with I schools, love that you do that. And I read them the manuscripts. Sometimes I read it to school kids with no pictures at all. Oh, and that's just ask interesting. them, what do you think is happening? What do you see? And I really can test drive a story that way. So yeah. for sure. You know what, Teeny? Yeah. We she love calls you. Her you know, and I have to tell you something that you may not know, but one time I was talking with Willie about parenting advice. And I said, how did you mm -hmm. help raise kids that love each other so mm -hmm. much and are so kind? Yeah. And he said, ask Teeny. Ask oh. Christina. She's the one that <laughs> really drives the bus. And oh, I know he doesn't want to be on, but he's, but he's here. here. You know what he's I love? Here. He comes Where is as he? like hiding. He's, he's my attache today. He's oh, Willie. Oh, there he is. Oh, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Willie, a number for you? <laughs> we want you to do a little oh, karaoke. I didn't have teeny. I mean, Willie, are you Willie, so come. proud of Christina? Come. This is Christina's big day, so I'm not coming in. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a handheld, guys, and if I can have it. You know. It's so fun to be here back there. I the love guys. her. Are you so proud of her? I'm so proud of her. Of course I am. This Aww. is her third one, and they keep getting better. You know what's so fun about the two of you is yeah. that y'all y'all were kind of these characters. Yeah. You yeah. met in the sixth grade. Sixth grade homeroom. I was the new kid at the new school, 
And I looked around the room, and I remember seeing Christina. And we were friends for many, 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 many years before we ever but started did you dating. That was the have a thing? Of course, I always had a thing. I mean, did come you? On. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah, we always had a we thing. Had a did? Yeah. When was the first kiss? How old? Oh, I can't oh, wow. reveal that. Hold on. Oh, I just need to know. Okay. Ninth grade. Yeah. Oh. Ninth grade. Where were y'all? Where were y'all? Yeah. Jim. Uh, Ninth grade. Uh, 11th grade. Well, we had a follow up in 11th well, yeah, on the roof say, of Mark Kosick's you know. house. <laughs> I kissed Henry on a roof for the first time, too. How you much did? Time oh, but yours was at the place. White House, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. At the White House? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you well, win. Okay. All okay. right, you guys. All right, please. Love goodbye. You guys. Love you. Love you, Willie. Okay. You, you guys, this book is for parents. It's for kids. Yes. It's yes. coming out at the perfect time. You can check out. Everybody right now, check it out. Go to Bud. Check out Buddy's new buddy at today.com slash shop or wherever you buy your book. You got to get it. All right. Thank you, Christina.